Welcome to this video on addition reaction. Today we're going to look at three types of rule. The first rule we'll look at is what an addition reaction actually is. So this happens with alkenes, molecules that have a double bond. When we introduce another molecule, for example water, next to this double bond, what can happen is the double bond can actually break open, making a single bond and two spare bonds. The next thing that happens is this extra molecule that's hanging around, like this water, gets added on to these two open bonds. In a water molecule, we have two hydrogens and one oxygen. So what ends up happening is a hydrogen gets added on to one open bond, and another hydrogen-oxygen, called a hydroxyl group, or in another video we've called it an alcohol group, gets added on to the other open bond. In this way, a double bond has opened up, and another molecule has been added on to those open bonds. That's what an addition reaction is. So we're going to look at several different types of addition reaction to start with. When you add a water molecule on, so a hydrogen plus an OH group, this is called hydration, and it's one type of addition reaction. But there are actually many types. You can add in water, that's a hydrogen plus an OH group. You can add one hydrogen with each, one bromine with each, one chlorine with each, or you can get mixtures. If you have hydrochloric acid, which is HCl, you can add a hydrogen to one and a chlorine to one, or hydrogen bromide, again, a hydrogen to one and a bromine to one. So we're going to quickly look at them one by one and learn the main names. The first one we've looked at is hydration already, that's with water. Next, we're going to look at when it opens it up with hydrogen. So again, the double bond from an alkene opens up, and then a hydrogen gets added on to each carbon. And this, when it's with hydrogen, is called hydrogenation. Next, we can look at bromine. Again, if you look at the double bond, it opens up to have two spare bonds open. Each of the molecules in this Br2 is going to add on to these open bonds. And this is called halogenation, because bromine and chlorine are called halogen atoms. It's a particular type of atom. So you just need to remember, if you have bromine or chlorine attaching on, it's called halogenation. And there's several different ways this could happen, either with straight chlorine or straight bromine, like we've seen in this addition reaction. But also we can have mixtures, so we might have hydrogen plus a halogen. For example, hydrochloric acid is HCl. We're going to have H attaching onto one side of the open bond, and the chlorine attaching to the other side of the open bond. And the same thing with bromine, hydrogen bromide. You could have a hydrogen attaching to one and a bromine attaching to the other. But what you'll notice is I've always put the single H on the left-hand side in this case. Now there's a reason for that. The hydrogen will attach to the carbon that has the most hydrogen atoms already attached. And that is called Makovnikov's rule. His rule says that the rich get richer. He's meaning that the rich carbons, the carbons which are rich in hydrogens already, see this carbon on the end already has two hydrogens, it's going to get even more rich with hydrogen. So the leftover hydrogen from HBr is going to attach to that carbon much more often than it's going to attach to this middle carbon which only has one hydrogen bonded to it already. That one's more likely to get the Br atom attached. This is something that's very likely to come up in your exam, so you need to remember the rich get richer. You attach the hydrogen to the carbon atom that already has the most hydrogens attached. And this is going to create two different types of product. What's called the major product, which is what we can see here, where the rich get richer. You also get what's called a minor product. So in some cases, but not many, the Br will attach to this carbon on the left, the rich carbon. And this remaining hydrogen will attach to the middle one. So it works in opposite. This is called the minor product because it doesn't happen very often. The next type of addition reaction we can talk to is not just adding on small molecules when we break open the double bond, but actually alkenes can bind themselves together as well. They all break open their double bonds and they all attach together. This is called polymerization. What happens is the double bonds open up and then all the atoms join up to make one really big molecule called a polymer. So the terms you're going to need to know for this is a monomer. This is a simple molecule that binds itself together to make a polymer. So here we've got all these individual, what were alkenes, and they're called monomers. They open up and when they all bind together, they make a polymer, which is this long chain of monomers all joined together. So monomer and polymer. And the whole process of addition here is called polymerization. Here's what you need to know. You need to know that addition is breaking open a double bond, and this happens really quickly. It doesn't take a long time to happen in real life, really fast. 
The second thing you need to know is it happens with alkenes, things with double bonds. The double bonds break open and attach onto other atoms, meaning that they add together. So the first example we looked at is hydration. This is where you get H2O, water, and it produces an alcohol because you have a hydrogen and an OH, a hydroxyl group, also called an alcohol group sometimes. We looked at hydrogenation, which means we add on hydrogen, and that turns into an alkane. So it goes from an alkene to an alkane. This little PT that you'll see next to it just means it needs to happen on a platinum surface for the actual reaction to take place. The next example we looked at is called halogenation. This is when we add bromine or chlorine. So in the case of just straight bromine and chlorine, it makes no difference where you add on the bromines and chlorines. But as soon as we have a single H as well as a halogen, or in the case of H2O as well as the OH group, we need to remember Markovnikov's rule, which is the rich get richer. So we have major products where the hydrogen atom attaches to the carbon with the most hydrogens already on it. And the bromine, the chlorine, or the OH group attaches onto the remaining one. And we also get minor products. Occasionally it happens in the reverse, and this is called a minor product. Finally, we looked at polymerization. This is where you have a whole lot of individual monomers, which are these individual alkenes, and when the double bonds open up, they all connect together to make one long polymer. So that's what you need to know for addition reaction. Let's look at some questions now. The first question we're gonna look at is with this diagram here. It shows four repeating sections of a polymer, commonly known as polypropene. So we need to draw the structural formula of the monomer molecule that is used to make the polymer. So what we're gonna to have to look for is repeating sections, because we know in any polymer, we're gonna have lots of repeating monomers that were joined together. They used to be alkenes. So we've got a single carbon, which is hydrogen attached. Then we've got a hydrogen and a methyl group. Then a single carbon with hydrogen attached and a carbon with a methyl group. And this repeats again and again. So after each one of these repetitions, we can draw a line. And as you can imagine, we're gonna break open each of these double bonds where we split it up. Half of that bond is gonna flip inside and the other half is gonna go the other way and they'll join together in double bonds to make alkenes. So we're going backwards now. So this is what a monomer might look like. So we could draw it just like this. Or if we draw the chain of carbons just in a straight line rather than going around a corner now, you'll see that we have CH2 from this very first one, double bonded to a CH, and then an extra CH3 group added onto the end. So this is called propene. So it makes sense why the polymer was called polypropene. Looking on to the second question, we can add propene and hydrochloric acid together. We need to show what the major and the minor products are. So as you'll know, in any addition reaction, the double bond breaks open, it happens really quickly, the H is gonna to attach to one carbon and the Cl is gonna to attach to another carbon. But which one goes to which? We need to remember Makovnikov's rule that the rich get richer. So here we have one carbon with one hydrogen atom and here we have a carbon with two hydrogen atoms. So in the major product, the hydrogen's gonna to go to the carbon on the right, the one that already has the most hydrogens. And that's gonna give us the CH3 group. The CH here in the middle is gonna have the Cl attached to it. And we're still gonna have a CH3 attached onto the end. That's from this extra hydrogen going down here. But we're also gonna have a minor product when the opposite happens. Occasionally it goes in the reverse and the H goes into the carbon with the least number of hydrogens. So in this case, our answer will be the CH3 group from the end we'll have a hydrogen attaching to this middle group to give CH2, and we'll have a Cl attaching to this carbon on the far right, giving the CH2 Cl on the end. And this is how you answer questions on addition reactions.